Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to grow your gaming channel, and I know what you guys are thinking. He doesn't have that many subs right now, but if you guys look at it when I started, which was in March of 2018, and you guys look at how far I've come in January 2019, we've gained almost 350 subs in that short amount of time. And I'm just going to tell you guys generally how I did it, and I'm going to tell you guys the things that you need in order to, or not need, but kind of should work towards in order to create t certain types of gameplays. Now, I do certain little things um, to make, like, I like to make my colors pop on my gameplays and things like that. That's something that you guys have to decide in your own time. But right now, I'm going to tell you guys all the equipment, and I'll also link it down below so you guys know everything that I have and I currently use. Now first on the list is a console you need some type of console because even if you don't have a laptop you can still upload your gameplays now what i would do <coughs> excuse me what i would do is in that situation you can also stream so if you can get somebody because uh, there's tons of people on Twitter. If you can get somebody to make your thumbnails, you can have a very attractive stream because a lot of people stream directly from their PlayStation or Xbox anyways. You guys can do that straight to YouTube. On the Xbox, you actually have to stream to Mixer and or Twitch, but on PlayStation, you can stream directly to YouTube. So you guys can actually do that and that will help you guys, you know, see if you guys really want to do this, see if it's something you guys actually want to grind towards. Now, next up is the laptop and or computer. You also need this item because with the PlayStation, you're able to record at least 15 minutes of gameplay and, erect, and immediately copy that gameplay onto a USB drive, provided it be big enough. And then you can pull it to your computer and edit it how you see fit. On the Xbox, it's a little bit different. If you have a Windows 10 computer, you can download your clips directly um, by going to the Xbox app and then downloading them. Or you can do... Um, a certain thing as if like your your you send it to your OneDrive or your email, uh, so you would have to make a OneDrive. But these aren't hard things. But this is also under the guise of you do not have an Elgato yet. So we're going step by step. So this is what you need: system. But this is most of you will probably have a system if you're watching this video. Most of you guys are probably already have a little bit of your equipment. So this is just me going over a certain guideline for the people that don't. Now. You get your system, and then next up, you get your computer, and then after that, you also get your Elgato. Now, the Elgato is important because not only does it allow you to record an HD 720 to 1080p, you also are able to select how much you want to record. So you're not limited to how much the PlayStation or Xbox wants to record. And you're able to really do whatever you want with it, and you're able to you know stream with it. It's got its own streaming software. I don't recommend that, but you, you do have your own things, and it allows you to open up a new door. So it's your next step. <clears throat> now, after you get that, you wanna move up to good audio. Now, if you guys go back and look at the beginning of my videos, my very first video, the audio was pretty lame. As time grew and I started to grow and getting a couple more people, you know, the biggest thing that a lot of people told me was your audio needs to be a little bit different. So I think that that's one of the things because even when you see the gameplay, a lot of people can see the gameplay and still listen and the gameplay not be as important. So the idea is to go ahead and get one of the blue products. Now, um, the product that I'm using right here, I'll show you guys right here, the product that I'm using it's called the Blue Yeti. That was, I think it was 114 uh, that I paid for it myself. But you can get a Blue Snowball, which is just like it's not. I I say you would have you have more options with the Yeti, but the Blue Snowball is really good quality as well. Any blue product you pick up is going to be very beneficial for you because they are a very good microphone company, and this helps you out a lot. Because even per from personal experience, I tried to find mics that were good, you know, you know, radio type mics. A lot of them had to have a soundboard that you had to plug in and um, it ended up it would end up costing you more money that way. So I recommend these It's like they are relatively cheap. I know it's like over one hundred dollars, but it is still relatively cheap uh, for starting your YouTube channel. Uh, now, before I get into anything else that I want to talk about, which that covers most of the equipment. Um, you know, upgrading your equipment later on after you gain some subs that those are things that, you know, help out, you know, so 
I have a couple other things I want to talk to you guys about. But before you spend money on this, and I can't stress this enough, before you spend money, before you go out and spend a bunch of money, make sure it's something that you are going to want to do for a while. Because to spend all the money and then you get discouraged after a little bit, which happens to a lot of people, um, and then you stop doing YouTube it's not only really shitty for the people that do follow you, it's also really shitty for your wallet. <laughs> so making sure that this is something that you want to do, you want to invest your time into is a big thing. Um, like I said, it's been months and it's my favorite thing to do, to be honest, making videos. So there's that. Um, so now we have the general methods of helping your channel grow. Now, finding a niche is a big thing that you want to do it's what your channel is going to be about it's what you're excited about when you're making it i feel like the biggest thing for you to do is to be excited about whatever you're doing because then it doesn't feel like a hassle so i like shooting games if it's got a gun in it i generally play it i also like making informational videos on trying to help people in it or trying to get people to see um like the updates and things like that i like i enjoy making those types of videos but for another person they might just like making gameplays so you have to find the thing that you want to do and then kind of run with it now also i would say do your homework doing your homework is a very important thing now i'm not telling you to go out and be like any other youtuber the biggest thing that you can do to benefit yourself is to find what makes you unique now what i think is that you should definitely go and look at some other youtubers in your niche and then see how they kind of go about things see how they do things pick up the way of the land you might say and when you do that you create a space of okay so this is what i want to try to gear towards like i said you don't want to shoot to be like them you want to shoot to be um on a different like level itself you want to be your own youtuber but at the same time there's some times where you're just not gonna you're, you're gonna you're gonna be like another youtuber at times but the goal is to be your own person to create your own content you see what i'm saying along with that guys being consistent now i know this is probably one of the things that you guys because at, at, if you're looking at this video nine times out of ten it wasn't your first option and you guys have seen other people saying be consistent what i mean by that is I found it very hard to be consistent at first, but over the last, like, I'd say three months, I've uh, consistently posted every day, and the way I do that is I try to set up a set of videos that I want to make and I enjoy making, and then I keep them there. I keep them in a folder, and I let them just sit there. And if something new and hot pops up that I want to talk about, because like I said, I'm an informational YouTuber. So sometimes videos are made on the fly. But if it's something that I, if I'm feeling a blah day, like, oh, I don't want to do this today, or oh, I'm not feeling up to it. I have videos that are reserved for just for that reason, whether it be a new type of video, a new type of content, all of that stuff. So stay ahead of your grind. And if it's a grind that you want to do, and at this point, you probably established that the fact that you want to do this, then make sure you guys stay ahead. That's the biggest and absolute biggest tip I can ever give you because the hardest thing <clears throat> is trying to pump out consistent content while trying to also, you know, uh, while trying to also balance that. Because sometimes, you know, you won't get a certain gameplay you want, you start getting frustrated, it starts to be less fun. Keep it light, keep it moving, and you guys should be fine. Now, hopefully, a lot of these tips helped you out. Also, don't be afraid, wait, before we, we, we do this outro, don't be afraid to collaborate with other YouTubers in your general area. Now, obviously, well, it depends on the people you talk to. Some people won't want to collaborate. They'll have like 600 subs, you'll have like 50, and it won't matter. Now, one of the coolest things was a guy that I met, his name is Skippy. When I first started YouTube, he had a good 200 subs, and he saw something in my channel, and with that, you know, he gave me an opportunity. He shouted me out on his channel. So sometimes you will find those cool dudes in the community that really help you out. And... That's what you guys kind of have to, you guys kind of have to search around and do your your homework. I'm not going to tell you that this video is going to help you get a million subs in a day. Obviously not, because I am at three 350 or something like that. But 
it is a slow but steady grind but as people see that you got you are producing good content you will grow and that's all i can that is all i can promise you is that even if it's a snail pace you will grow now like i said i have another video guys for you in store that will help you guys that have already gotten your first 100 200 subscribers how to get more views so with that being said guys i will see you guys in the next one if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one peace